Eddie is no ordinary dog. He's an autism service dog, and he's supposed to go everywhere with six-year-old Caleb Syriax. My main reason for obtaining a service dog for my son was that he's in a loper, which means that he tends to run away. Um, and that's just part of his autism behaviors. Caleb recently ran off on his mom and dad. My son escaped from my home, and um, he ran about a quarter mile away. The police found him. It was a horrible day for me, a horrible day for my family. The Syriacs recently got Eddie and thought it wouldn't be a problem to have him go with Caleb and his mother to school. But then they hit a roadblock. The Cypress School District initially barred them from bringing Eddie on campus. The main response that I've gotten is, we're not too sure, we're going to wait and see. The district did relent and let Eddie onto the campus, but are still looking into the issue. A letter from the district dated May 21st said, among other things, the district will require additional information before making any determination as to whether or not the dog will be permitted to attend school with Caleb. A district official told the Orange County Register that they had to see if any teachers or students had dog allergies or phobias. Caleb's mom says that Eddie is just like a guide dog for the blind, only in this case for an autistic child. For this service animal to work, for the whole concept to come together, Caleb and, and Eddie need to become a whole unit. They need to go everywhere together. In the meantime, the Syriacs have spoken with a lawyer, but hope the district will go along with their wishes. Seeing it work for autistic kids is like really great. You know, it's really awesome. Mark Eads reporting for OCRegister.com.